Okay, we're live. Sorry, everybody. We've we've been having technical difficulties. I've been having technical difficulties. Um, but we're here. We just wanted you to know that. Give us a second. Okay, so she needs to know. Why can't you do that anymore? Hello, can you throw the link on my Facebook call? Because I can't get to it right now. Say that again? Do you mind putting the link on my Facebook call? Okay. there um, yeah okay okay so everybody okay, so everybody out of here, out of here. Yeah. have to be have to be <laughs> <laughs> let me see um there's my cursor there's my cursor Can you still hear me? I can't hear you. Portia, no. I see other audio is turned off, but I can't hear you at all. <laughs> no audio for you. Can you hear me? I can't hear you at all. Nope, can't hear you at all. This is crazy. Uh, yeah, you can't see anybody else, uh, uh, Jason, because she had to manage them in order to manage me. Um, can you see Portia, Jason? Okay. Yeah, I can't hear you at all, Portia. And your, uh, nope, can't hear you. Turn, can you turn the audio back on for everybody to see if that puts me back on? Portia? Can you hear me, Portia? Wow.
Hello? Hello? Wow. Well. Um, hmm. Okay, um, now talk, Portia. Portia. Oh, she's gone. Can oh, you hear me? Gone. Can you hear me? Oh, I can hear me. you. Oh, that's me. Who's that talking? Devin. Devin. Devin, okay. Hey, my cousin Stacy's in there. Hey. Hey. Hey, Stacy. There you are. Where did Portia go? <laughs> okay, can okay, can you guys hear me? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you guys can all hear me. Okay. Uh hmm. Jason, can you hear me? Let's see. We're gonna fix this, y'all. We are not think, going to do that. I think everybody yes. think needs everybody to unmute themselves. Me. I did no. not Okay. So there's a bar. Up there's a bar. Up yeah, I see it. I mean that controls mute and microphone control and camera. And I was able to turn everything on. So. Okay. Let me see. doing this. Can you hear us, Portia? Portia. <laughs> Portia. Can anybody hear me? Can anybody hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Can you yes. see me? Can you see me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good Lord. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> yes. Hold on. I need a drink. Hold on. I need a drink. Because this is crazy. Lo and I have been on this thing for weeks. For weeks. And this does not happen. Hey, Orson. Yes. Hey, Orson. Okay. You have to show love. You have to show love. I do. Okay. Okay. So hey, y'all, what are we gonna chat about? What are we gonna chat about? Okay, uh, let's see. It looks like there's some messages in the chat, so let me look at them. Uh, okay. Hey, Gina. Gina! Gina! Oh, she's taking her bra. Uh -oh. Okay, wow. uh -oh. <laughs> okay, guys, what is it? Um, least we're not, like, super, um, CP time. Super CP time is like a half hour late. We are... Three minutes shy of that, which makes us good. <laughs> what would that be? What What would that be? Uh, uh, mm. time, like biracial person time? Yeah. Like yeah. Dr. Cox. Like Dr. Cox. <laughs> Dr. Cox. There you go. <laughs> okay. Let me. Um, okay. You got to go. You got to go. I'm going to get out from the room. You never know if this is going to go left and how far. Go left and how far. Do y'all have drinks out there? Because drinks. 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 You see, she has a pretty drink. I'm all pretty drink. Drink. I'm all Mine's pretty but strong. Did you guys, um, I don't know what I was going to ask you. I'm Don't old. Oh, has Yolanda a, has a drink. Yolanda has, has a drink and boiled peanuts. So <laughs> we should expect her to explode at some point during this. So I may need to mute Yolanda. <laughs> we don't hear the explosion because right? liquor and boiled peanuts sounds kind of combustible. 
Okay. Okay. I'm going to put the YouTube link up too. No. No. No, I thought we could. Start talking. Let's start talking. You know, we're, we're okay. here. So, okay. Yes. So, yes. And we came to party. So, um, party in our beds. <laughs> <laughs> right. I was gonna say this is the most partying I've done in my bed in a while, but that might be a lie. <laughs> I have no comment. As the man says, could be. No. Oh, okay. oh, Yolanda says she's so weak. Then we have a question. Who is that? It's a witness, a witness protection. <laughs> I see you're with his protection. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. Let's do this. Um, hmm. <laughs> Let me hit this control panel for a minute to get a. Let's see if there's some audio in here. I wish this thing would let me adjust audio. Keep talking. Okay, I'm gonna answer the first question over here. Over here. Okay. Uh, uh, how, long, how long did it take? How long did it take, long did it take me to come up with the name? AKA Vinny for the protagonist. And did a character name I already had in mind? Character name I already had in mind. That's the character developed. Okay. So Vinny just kind of popped in my head. No idea where it came from necessarily, but. Um, you know, it, it just, I, I wanted her name to be Vinny. And I had already, she's been the character that's been living in my head probably since 2003. So Vinny's been around, but a lot of y'all just never knew she was around until like 2009. But, um, yeah, did I answer that before? Did it come to mind? Yeah. No, yeah, it just kind of happened. Most of my characters are just kind of happened. I, however, well, this is about me. Okay, what's the next question? What happened? What happened? No, how do you come with your character name? Okay. I, I base my characters on, no, really, this isn't about me. This is about you, so don't try to deflect. Okay. Um, <laughs> I have some questions because, you know, I love this book and that's why I was tweeting and posting so much about it because it was great and I know you're a very good writer. Um, that's one of the reasons we're friends. I would not be friends with you if you were a really good writer, but, you know, it would be a little sketchy. Right. But I read this and the whole time I was reading it, I was like, you know, okay, 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 okay. And again, as I mentioned on Facebook a few weeks ago, at one point I kicked a chair, you know, because I was so upset. So my thing is, you know, this feels so tangible. Were you ever in a fast track yourself? For those of you who don't know what fast track is, y'all need to read the book. Oh, now, Porsche, you can't hear. Wait a second. And that was a really good question I asked. Hold on. Can you hear now, Portia? <laughs> okay, you should be able to hear me now, right? <laughs> yes? You can't hear me? I'm good. I'm good. Can you hear me? No. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> yes. Were you ever in Fast Track yourself? Google pissing me off. You see that I just asked you the question in the chat. <laughs> Cues, you can hate me now. <laughs> you don't have to chat because we can hear you. Right, hey, if guys, you can you hear me? I'll just talk and answer. Yes. Can you guys hear Portia? Tweet. Uh, uh, tweet. Uh, put your uh, your answer in the chat. Jason can hear okay, you. You can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes, they can oh, all hear Okay. You. So, so for those of you who don't know what Fast Track is, you really do have to read the book, but it's this organization of young girls who are very, um, 
I, I know, Jason, You everybody else is muted so that they don't talk over our chat. That's why you can only hear me and Portia. Otherwise, it might be cacophony. There you go. We didn't mute you because you didn't want to. We didn't want to hear you. We only muted you because so you guys can hear the two of us. Um, uh, you heard my. You saw my question, right, Portia? Oh, my mommy don't want to talk. Want to talk. <laughs> yes, yes. Talk. You can talk. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Portia? Mo just disappeared on my end. Is she? Can y'all see her? Can y'all see her? Can y'all still hear me? Can you guys out there still hear and see me? This is you know what. Okay, so Yolanda can see and hear me. Jason can see and hear me. Okay. They can all see and hear us. Portia is. You see that comment? <laughs> Yeah, Google doesn't hate us. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I understand. But my other computer doesn't work. Work. work, so. That's okay. We can hear and we can hear and see you. So just rely on our questions. Um, we can hear and see you. I need. You know that software that you're talking to, Dragon or whatever, uh, and it was hyped for me. Okay, so there was another question. Um, uh, let me see. I'm just going to paste it in here. It was about the name of the book. Uh, Odeb's question. Here we go. You see that question? Okay. Hey. Okay. So yeah. the name of the book. So the name of the book. Come from um, relationships as uh, Facebook. So, um, on my Facebook page, it has a relationship with Kiana, Nicole, I mean, Kiana, Daniel, and Jenny. I think that's what you're getting at. Um, actually, that came from me writing um, Exhibit 3, which was supposed to be like a while back, but I'm judging. Um, I paused writing that to write the topic. So yes, um, so yes, you know, um, you are definitely yeah, related. You are definitely it's a case with the three women who are in and in and, 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 and you know, and he has this complicated. Has her book. Gabrielle's gonna have her book, and Kiana has her own book as well. So, um, on that page, you kind of get an idea. It was just something I was like, okay, well. Yeah. Nothing free takes place like the 1993. And I was like, wow, if we had Facebook back then, what would these girls do? So when I really stopped the man and nothing free, y'all hear me twice? Oh my God. I can hear you. Uh, what, what happened? <laughs> oh, she said there was an echo. Whatever. Uh, I started coming up in nothing free. You will see more interactions in that Facebook page. This is stupid, y'all. I apologize. I apologize. Yeah, there's a bit of an echo. There's a bit of an echo. Uh, can you guys still hear okay, me? I'm here. <laughs> can you guys still hear me? Can y'all still hear me? Okay, let me hit the control panel. Uh, Okay. Let me see. Okay. All right. All right. Did somebody asked if I was going to ask if I was Did someone ask what? I'm hearing the ding. Did someone ask what? Oh, okay. So nice. I have to say it twice. Yeah, you have an echo. echo. You have an echo. echo. Is the echo better? Is it? Is the, Is the echo gone now? Keep talking, Portia. We gotta call you on the phone. <laughs> Keep talking, Portia. We should have done free conference call about time or something. Good Lord. <laughs> Trying to be all extra. Be all extra. Trying to be technological. Oh, you Technology is not ready. Uh, okay, so let me see. What was there? Was there another question? I'm scrolling up in this chat. Um, I'm supposed to keep talking. I'm supposed to keep talking. Yes, keep talking. <laughs> Um, um, to somebody who asked if I was in fast track before, uh, no. <laughs> mm -mm. 
me. Um, low and low, it didn't sound low, like, okay, sound yeah, like, low. Okay, yeah, low. Um, um, <laughs> when I was writing all the logistics, I was writing wow. all the logistics. Wow, Jason said that. I convinced myself that it was a pretty damn appealing. Jason just said. I think I might have been a pimp in my family life. Jason just said women and machinery don't mix. You still have an echo, Deb. <laughs> Literally, we don't know. <laughs> well, Jason just typed my bad. That's right, Gina. <laughs> That's track made me bitch. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> okay. Um, um, so just tell us about this whole writing experience for you. I mean, did it come quickly? Oh, God. I'm talking to her like she can hear me. Uh, tell us. Lolita keeps disappearing. Uh, did you? Lolita Deb, she seems to have plenty. I have plenty of what? I had a drink. Yeah, I got some drinks here. I would walk into the kitchen and show you guys my bar, but that would be a diversion. Okay, drinks. I want to know more about uh, Hassan was a mess, right, Gina? Can you guys um, still hear me? See me? Mm hmm. Uh, is that mm hmm to hearing okay. me and seeing me or mm hmm to Hassan being a mess? This is time to No, I said that. Okay. Yeah, Hassan is a mess. Um, he'll be more of a mess. Just wait. Wait till you all get the backstory. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. Do you see my question? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. Can you guys yes, still hear me? Yes. Give me a yes. Give me a yes if you guys are still hear me. Um, you guys can um, hear me. For probably the past year, I have been thinking about doing a story with Vinny. Vinny. Um, because she was in Let's Learn, she was a supporting character, but she stuck with me. I like how mysterious she was. She often talked in riddles. She would answer questions, but she would only give you what she wanted you to know. So I kind of wanted readers to dig a little, get a little more um, in her, and I wanted her to dig a little more. So, so I've been kind of tossing around the idea of a book with it, but when I was approached by Crown World Publishing, I was like, well, maybe this is the opportunity. This is the opportunity. And you know, I kind of played around with it. I was like, well, maybe we that or another book, and 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 then he won. So of course, I had the idea of mine. I had the storyline in mind. It was supposed to be a story about the secrets and lies and what comes of it, but it ended up being a love story. <laughs> in the midst of all the foolishness going on, the going on. Love love and I fell in love with Lawrence and Vinny as a couple, and, Vinny as a couple. Um, um, and I have fun just you know, giving you pieces, pieces, pieces of, of, uh, of, of Vinny and her sessions with Dr. They're killing me. Can you guys still hear me and see me? <laughs> They're putting up phone numbers. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm dying. <laughs> you got six three four five seven eight nine. Okay, uh oh. Um, see me and hear me. Okay. You can't see me? <laughs> okay. Yes, damn, damn, I'm pissed. This is annoying. I can't even like, play with y'all for real. Play with y'all for real. Hey, Jason. I see your number, though. I see your number, though. That's funny. Okay. Um. Portia, are you there? This is bananas. <laughs> this is so hood. I'm writing Google letters. Right. This is so letters. Letters. This is 
If you must all be put to be the same. Okay, I'm gonna unmute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna unmute everyone. Everyone is gonna be unmuted, and maybe that will fix things. Now I can hear my mama talking right now. Okay, and I'm gonna un. I'm gonna turn everyone's cameras on too, if you have them. Let's just make this a buck wild party. How about that? If only this thing would let me turn everything on. Uh, no, okay, no, Gina, you want me not to turn your camera on? Okay, I won't. You got to sit, you want to do your hair. Okay, your camera's still off. Okay, uh, you guys hear us still? I don't think I do all that in my phone call. Do you guys hear us? Do you guys see and hear us? Sometimes does that mean echo? I wonder what that echo is. <laughs> he, did he recognize my voice, Gina? Oh God. <laughs> Lousy. Um Aw, tell tell Ben thanks. Y'all are such good people. Okay, so Portia's coming through her computer. Uh, oh, so you got an echo on mine. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll turn my volume down. How about that? Portia, say something. I'm here. Can you hear me? Hello. Are y'all there? I don't hear anything now because I got my audio turned down. Okay. Portia? Okay. So no echo, but I'm here. This is is that, that better? Okay, so I turn my volume up. Okay, what about this? Is that an echo? Something. <laughs> Golden elbow. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Am I still echoing? Okay, there's a way around this. Okay. Let me see. <laughs> this is so good. Oh, Lord, now y'all can't hear low. You know what? Okay. Can y'all hear me now? Y'all can hear me now, but watch. You're going to have an echo from Portia. Okay. Do you still have an echo from Portia? Say something, Portia. Portia. Lawrence and Vinny woke, woke up in the laundry room. Woke up in the laundry room. The echo is there. So the echo comes from you coming through my phone. So maybe I have to mute your audio on my phone, Portia. Okay. Okay, now now say something, Portia. So I muted you. <laughs> Lord. Oh my God! This is the hoodiest thing I've ever done. Okay, I unmuted you. <laughs> yes, hoodiest. This is the hoodiest thing I've ever done. Okay, we're going to keep doing this. Regardless or irregardless, since I'm being hoodie. Um, what is what is that? Is that a play? Yes, hoodie is. You can use that in words with friends. <laughs> I can't hear anything now, Portia. Keep on pushing. <laughs> 
Oh my God. Heaven help us. I hear absolutely nothing now. Let's see. I know I'm trying to unmute her, Devin. Um, and it's not letting me unmute her. Okay, there. I have there, now, now been unmuted. Can, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, we can hear you now. Yes. This is so, oh my God. Okay. You're. I so appreciate y'all for hanging in here. And let me see if I can, if there's some way I can adjust your audio to keep that echo down. Maybe that might be better. I'm going to turn my audio I'm turn my audio down. Okay. I'm taking it anyway. You're oh, who threw a kiss? Who kissed? Who, who kissed who? Okay. All right. Back to questions. Um, Portia, don't turn your audio down. We need it. You can have it, Jason. I don't know if you can hear me. Yes, we can hear you. Is it still we have seen the majority of this chat going, can you hear me now, basically, you know, or a variation of the, the uh, I really do need this drink, y'all. Maybe Portia Hood should... Uh, and we should if she turns down her audio, though, um, I won't hear her. Because I tried that with mine. I turned my audio down because I thought maybe her voice coming through my computer provided the echo. And when I turned my audio down, all the audio on my end went away. We're going to do this, damn it. With or without technology working. Someone ask a question, and let's just keep this going. Um, let me see. Let's, let's make it something good. Uh, Google isn't Saturn. <laughs> you would blame this. I would blame this on Mercury retrograde. Gina. Retrograde. Mercury retrograde Gina. is gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you said Satan. Ah. <laughs> Google Plus is Satan. You are so silly. That would be so damn dramatic. Oh my God. Uh, we speak of uh, this the part where, where uh, she, oh, then she, she left. left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why was she so dramatic? Why was she but, so dramatic? Her, are you there? We hear you, and then you, you went away. You oh no, you're back. Keep talking. Okay, you hear me. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, of course, I didn't look at it as her being dramatic because I mean, of course, I didn't look at it as her being dramatic. It's really not like a dramatic I mean, moment in her. Really not like you know, she's just so like, you know, she's just so whatever. Like, you know, she can take it or leave it. You know, and a lot of people that frustrated, a lot of people that frustrated in that part. You know, um, and I'm not telling too much. I'm not so wait, we have a safe word. So we have a safe word. This might be a safe word. This might be a safe word. So the safe word. I'm talking to you. It's going to be what love? It's going to be what love? <laughs> Cox. Cox. <laughs> like Dr. Cox, the therapist so, in, the, uh, so, Cox, in the book. Cox. Um, you know, when, when <laughs> more sneeze. More sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> she said Cox. <laughs> Laura sleeps the house. Laura sleeps the house. Um... um that upsets me. It reminds her of everything that everybody, everybody, she, loved, everybody she loved left, left, you know, left, left, you know, in one way or another. You know, in one way or another. So yeah, she's in the middle of telling you know, him the last thing she had to tell him, and he, he, he bolts. He pushes the away from the table, which he man, absolutely lost it. Oh, that's it. 
That's when I kicked the chair. Uh, that's actually what made me kick the chair. Uh, well, and, he, and, he, and he leaves and, uh, and, uh, and, 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 and he leaves so, and he goes back, she's like, no. No, he goes back, she's like, no, you dead. And here's what made me kick the chair, guys. And this is Cox, I'm saying Cox because this is a spoiler kind of thing. But if you haven't read the book, you, there's some context here that won't be ruined. But what made me kick the chair, and I mean, I kicked the chair. It was like 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm reading this, and I had this chair that was next to my bed, and I kicked it clean across the room. But when Lawrence got up from the table, can you guys hear me? Can I get a what, what? Okay, yes. When Lawrence got up from the table, and it was like, okay, I'll be back. You know, she had just made this epic confession to him. Epic. This, you know, thing that she was terrified to tell him about. And he had been begging her for however long. Just let me inside your mind. Tell me what's going on. You know, I want to be a part of you. You, me, us, we. And then the second she finally gets the nerve to share that thing with him, he's like, okay, I'll be back. I was like, you know what? This is just how they do you. You know, they, they pull and pull and be your forever and be your man and let me whatever. And then you do it. She was out. After so much trying, she would let him back in. Yeah, you kind of soft at it. You gotta let him like sweat it for a while. <laughs> Portia, are you there? Yes, when he explained himself, it did make sense, Gina, but in the moment, in that super intense, I don't know what I'm hearing either. I don't know what that is I'm hearing either, uh, but I don't have any audio on Portia, okay. but I don't know what that is either. Okay, there you are. Um, uh, um, um, yes, but in that super intense moment, that's the moment he walked away, and that's the, that's the very least moment he should have walked away. That's when he should have most stayed, and I know I'm using superlatives all wrong right now, most, least, whatever, but, you know, that's the moment you don't walk out on somebody. You were lightweight pissed at him, lightweight. <laughs> yeah, no, I was to the whole hardcore all the way, like, you know, cussing in the middle of the night. You are sappy. Aw, Gina's sappy. Portia, can you hear us? Portia. I see you did apologize, but not yeah, until soft. later. Yes, sir. Yeah. No, I was not trying to hear you. I was trying to hear you. I was, if I could find some headphones, I I'm not trying to use um, my other computer. And I was going to try to plug it up to the headphone. I can hear you. Okay. Yeah, I can see that being a hang up, Devin. Um, but again, in that moment when she was most vulnerable, he bounced. And granted, he bounced to do that thing that I guess men do when y'all drive around Jason to go clear your heads and process and figure out how to be the man that woman needs. But you leave right at that very, you see how I singled Jason out, but you leave at that moment where we need a hug or we need a, a, a hope or we need a something. We don't need you to walk away. And he walked away and that made her feel rejected like she had said something that was so horrible that you know of all the things she told him about her past he could have processed or deal with that <laughs> why was it why are you laughing for Jason? <laughs> you stick around with your spouse Jason unless your girlfriend needs you uh, oh. <laughs> Liz, I'm gonna be right back I'm gonna some headphones so I can hear you okay <laughs> unless your girlfriend needs you I wish I could reach through this phone right now. That is making me have a drink. I stick around my stuff unless my girlfriend needs me. Oh my god. Uh did the right thing. Also, Devin, you you your husband did that. So was it because he couldn't process what was what you had just said, and he needed to go get himself together first, so he could be the man that you need in that moment, or did he just bounced, and then you were like, "Oh, okay, cool, he'll be back." Did you see? Did you hear my question, Devin? 
<laughs> well, I'm just seeing, I'm just seeing what Judah said. She told him so much that he accepted. Exactly, exactly. That that was why I was upset. She told him all this stuff that he'd accepted about her background or what she did as a teenager, all this other kind of stuff that if he was going to run, that's when you run. You mean you've been with just many people? You mean you used to do this, you used to do that? But then, you know, here's this other thing. You know, I have a blink. I'm trying not to have to say cops and do a spoiler. And then he's gone. But what upset me the most, again, was... He had been begging her almost every day. What's wrong, baby? What's wrong? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. And she told him, and he bounced. Ouch. I was Ouch. like, man. Meanwhile, I don't know what Porsche's doing on her end, but I just heard a, an ouch. Um, call 911. Someone please yes. call 911. <laughs> Are you okay over there, Potion? <laughs> Real talk, this is one of the hoodest things I've ever done. But it's actually kind of cool. This is actually kind of yeah, fun. Yeah, I got my lap. My lap. You can hear us? You can hear us? Old ass, hot ass, hot ass computer. <laughs> Oh, sure. Okay, so oh, okay, so I'm on my other Okay, so you can still hear us though. Yes, Jess. Some old Linda. Linda. I have a question for the for the for the for the you were in you were in track with you had the boot thing that you were in such a in such a operation operation that you were selling your cookies and that you were selling your cookies. Yes. Keep talking. Can y'all hear Keep or Keep and talking. see us? Can y'all hear and see us yes. still? Yes. You, you're saying yes, Portia? You can see me and hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Wait. There's a delay. Oh, I'm, I'm, talking. Talking. I'm, I'm delay. delay. You're right. Right, right. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so you had just asked a question or something, right? Right? Yellow. Yellow. <laughs> Portia, are you there? I'm here. How are you doing? You have a delay. I have a serious delay, y'all. My mama's doing good. My she mama's doing good. She's doing good. She's doing good. I have a serious delay. A over serious here. delay over here. Yes, okay. I was asking Riggs a question. question. I was asking. I was um, asking um, if you were part of an you operation were part of where you were receiving money, receiving money, given given away your special away parts, special parts. Would you tell? Would you tell your new boo thing? That you were what? Oh, tricking we just, let it just let it ride. Just let it ride. Never find out. Never find out. Ah, Devin said it depends on how new. Hmm. What's new, Devin? What do you consider new? Like been dating how long? <laughs> Hello, my name is Slim Shady, and I was a whore. <laughs> 
Okay, so how many times would y'all have had to have been together before you would say this? Or would you say this before y'all have been together the first time? Or only when it feels like it might turn into something potentially serious? You see Gina, right, you might not have told any of it, right? But Gina, what if you were, you and your dude were out one day and y'all run into one of the guys who, you know, was a client? Debbie said maybe after a year. Wow. It's a long time to be stooping somebody in. You know, it's been like four to five hundred men up in it before you. <laughs> okay, maybe four forty four hundred. <laughs> it depends on the deepness of the relationship. Waka waka deepness. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> see, look at Jason. Jason immediately jumped on deepness. <laughs> <laughs> the deepest. <laughs> so after a year, and Gina, you might not tell them at all, right? If they were clients, they should know the year. Exactly. They should know the STFU. The girls were underage. Exactly. Exactly. But what if they don't know better? In one of my books, not to bring my books into this, but in my first book, Scenes from a Sister, uh, anybody who's read those, you guys know the character Reese was a stripper. And then she gets a regular job, you know, as a, uh, she was a stripper for the Magic City. And then she gets a regular job as, a, um, as an administrative assistant for her best friend. And she's in a whole other city. Other, she's not even in Atlanta anymore. She's in New York. And one of the guys who used to go to the Magic City comes into the office in New York. And he says, hey, Peanut! He calls her by her stage name. And he didn't even think about the, is this appropriate or not? It's that instantaneous, you know, impulsive, hey, I know you, you know. You got a nice ass, excuse my French. And jiggle the best out of everybody I remember. So what do you do in a case like that, Peanut? Is it, well, it was her Peanut. It was her stripper name because um, her yeah, real name was Peanut. Yeah, 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 <laughs> and I hear you now, Portia. What I wasn't hearing you for a minute. Uh, and and uh, uh, her stripper name was Peanut because her real name was Reese. Uh, like I'm at the little kids table, you're at the grown up table. I keep getting my bits and pieces. So it's like Reese's peanut butter cup. So that's why her name was Peanuts. No, that peanut wasn't her name. <laughs> that was the name growing up. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, her name was her name was her stripper name was Peanut, and it was actually I think I say I think because I don't remember even though I wrote it. Um, but I think it had something to do with her name being Reese because uh, like Reese's pieces, Reese's peanut butter cup. So it was Peanut. Um, but yeah, sometimes people uh, uh, are impulsive. They just react in the moment, especially if you uh, used to perform a, a, a trick or a feat that was very memorable for them. Well, yeah, going to see a stripper is more socially acceptable than visiting underage whores. But yeah, it could happen. I would be like, I don't know you. What? I don't know you, sir. This is me quoting Gina's comment. Exactly. Pardon me, sir. My name is Jay Poupon. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, um, still, though. So, Gina, you would never tell the man, period, that you used to do this. Because, yeah, why does he need to know, right? <laughs> as long as everything works fine, and he's fine, and he's cared for in every way. He doesn't need to know. <laughs> Portia, are you there? Um, Self-preservation, exactly, exactly. And I think a lot of what Vinny does in this book is very self-preservation oriented. Jason says he needs to know. Why does he need to know, Jason? If she's left that life, you know, and it has absolutely zero bearing on their current life together and their future social media. Because social media will bust up, blow up her spot. It will come out later. So what if it does come out later? Serious. Then what happens if it comes out later? And, and is, it, is it dishonesty to not tell Devin? Don't allow him to be blindsided. 
Well, I'm old. <laughs> she just said anything she was she did would be on film, so she ain't gotta be scared of this digital age. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm dying. <laughs> I know, right? It'd be like trying to watch the Jane Kennedy tape now, all grainy. <laughs> Not that I know about the Jane Kennedy uh, tape. Uh, although that was actually, somebody took that and transferred it to digital. So I hear. Because, uh, uh, yeah. A I don't know what to talk. I don't know what to talk, Devin. Talk whenever, Portia. Because I'm <laughs> talking. Okay, there's a question okay. I just randomly saw. Okay. Um, uh, Martine says, Martin says, her question is, her question is, how does Tangela how become such a hater? hater. <laughs> so Tangela, so I want to say she was born a hater. She was born a hater. That's not fair. Do you hear me? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. I was reading Jason's comment. Okay, so Tangela became a hater. And to save the day. To save the day. Um, Cox, um, Cox, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Um, she came um, in to save the day. Save the day. When? When? Wait, let's talk about this. Okay. She said the day when his mother passed away. And so, you know, he's like, oh, you're such a big sister. I know everything. You know, oh, this baby, I'll raise him. 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 I'll ra
<laughs> Talk about Theodore, yes. Theodore was a biatch. When he himself, Cox, was doing his own dirt. Yeah, Uncle, Uncle Luke music was like church music in Florida, you know. <laughs> the gospel according to Luke. <laughs> Portia, can you hear us? <laughs> Portia, can you hear us? <laughs> Talk about Theodore. Exactly, what they were to church and whatnot, for real. So there's a delay. Okay. Talk about Theodore. Talk about Theodore. Yes. Theodore is um. Hmm. I'm trying to get too much away. I'm trying to get too much away. But. But. <laughs> okay, I'm up here now. Okay, I'm up here now. You know, it was a bitch. It was a bitch. Let's just be honest. Um, um, it's very, it's very passive aggressive. Passive aggressive. He has secrets of his own. He has secrets of his own. He has secrets of his own. He has so much. He, has so he, was, much. he was so he mad at Benny. So mad at Benny. And you know, you'll let him find out. You'll let him find out. Choose to be in a free or 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 free Took his virginity mm -hmm. and then he learned what mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. she was in. He learned them from her mm -hmm. friend. Mm -hmm. He learned them because of that. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. um, you know, he came wrapped up with this girl mm -hmm. and he mm -hmm. actually got mm -hmm. pissed mm -hmm. off because he wasn't feeling them like that. He was a client. Like that. He was a client. So she made him feel like he was a client. He wasn't. So that's why he was looking at it because his eyes have been the same way. So he's had this. Thing about Vinny, all these years, you know, Kendra was talking about this, but she has no idea why he feels that way. Yeah, she has no idea why she feels that way. Yeah, she has no idea why she feels that way. Yeah, she has no idea why she feels that way. Oh, good. We just had someone else join the chat. Uh, it's so funny that it, it's so appropriate that um, uh, this uh, chat is here. about is complicated because look at how complicated look how complicated this chat has been. Oh, wow. But we move in. Now who was that that just came in? Oh Rosie, okay. Odika. Okay. Ha. Huh. So Portia, I have a question for you. Was it hard to write the sex scenes in this book? Readers ask a lot, you know, uh, we've all been asked that if we're writers over the years. Uh, okay. You know, okay. you know, complicated. Was it hard to have the sex scene? Can answer that? Yes. 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 Oh, it wasn't hard. 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 She just said she could write the sex of time all day. All day. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. She's going to close the door. So, wow. Maybe she's about to really get into this conversation on another level. Closing the door. Okay. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. You get out my notepad. Um, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Do I need a notepad for this? Because <laughs> if you had to shut the door. All right. So back to, right. to, to, to writing the, the sex scenes. Um, it's not really um, easy for me to write the sex scenes. But for this, it was um, 
It was definitely harder because Vinny has not had sex. Has not had sex. Trying to think. I think it was like ten years. She hadn't had like she hadn't had like sex. <laughs> she had done things, but she hadn't she had sex. Done things, but she hadn't had sex. Yeah, so it was it was gonna be a very delicate so, thing for her. A very delicate thing for her. And um. And um, I didn't know how to approach it at first. I, I wanted her to be to so I wanted take to be. control type personality. So I was kind of trying to figure out. Okay, she's not going to be. Out, okay, you know, she's not going to step to the plate and be she's very timid about, about it. She's just going to be very cautious. And there's a difference. What do you think? You know, there's many the faults at the end of the day. So I want to make sure you know she did her thing. You know, and she told me, yeah, and she told me, I don't want to do this. She's like, I don't want to do this. You know, all of a sudden, you know, you feel some type of way, and I'm not. Like I said in the book, you know, she could drop on my highway litter and just keep it pushing. That's what she was trained to do. That's how she has done. She has done up until that point in her sexual career. So, you know, I went back and forth with this whole thing. You did most of You know, ultimately, when I figured out, I wanted to have, I wanted to figure out that I wanted to have a good time. I wanted to have a good time. And, you know, it was also a weekend, and the whole conversation she had when she was like, you know, Jordan came out of time. And when she was there, you know, Jordan came out of time. I don't know how to yell. I do sometimes have a good time. I'm very modest, and I'm very humble when it comes to my writing. But when it comes to my writing, I'm very like, really? And I was totally mean. But I'm telling you what, when I figured out that she was going to come out of the bathroom with that number 45 jersey, listen, I, jersey. I literally yes. stopped. And I, I literally stopped. I did stopped. a little scoop back from the table like Lawrence. I did a little scoop back from the table. And I was like, like Lawrence, damn it. That's it right there. And I knew that that was going to be a moment. That's it right there. And I knew that that was going to be a moment. And that's Vinny. You know, she's real cool about it. She's not about to put this in the camera and and watch her body and do all that. That's not her. So she came out like a boss. Boom. 45. I'm not retired. Let's go. And so once I got that, Thinking all of us in this chat have had sex. You know what happens. You know what happens. So, <laughs> I wanted it to be intimate. I wanted it to be powerful. And I, I hope this happened. Yeah, I wanted it to be powerful. And I hope this happened. Got it. Got it. Keep talking, we're so sorry. Keep talking, we're so sorry. Somebody's trying to check the echo. Echo is hella annoying, right here. Echo is hella annoying, right here. I feel like one of those singers, I keep snatching my ears out. I feel like one of those singers, I keep snatching my ears out. Can you hear us at all? Hello. Y'all can still hear me, right? Yes, yes. Okay. I wonder why Portia's audio goes in and out like that. Okay, so. Another. Uh, there's another question. There's another question. Wait, let me scroll up. Let me scroll up. Whatever, Jason. Whatever, Jason. I'm just going to call my podcast. I don't care, though. Because I should have slowed it. Jerks. Jerks. I can't have so I can't have so Wait, Dr. Cox, there was a question. Uh, it was up there earlier. Uh, It used to, Devin, but it's free now. Uh, uh, I don't Skype, know what's going on with the Let me tell you. Yeah, uh, Skype recently. I still can't hear it. I 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 can't hear
second. At least here. My eyebrows going out. Hmm. Yes, yeah, Skype used. But now they recently made it free, and I think they were doing it to compete with Google. So wait a minute. So wait a minute. Question about research and about the college and all that stuff. College and all that stuff. Um. Um. Not the Nova research. I did no research. I did no research. Um, for the Dr. Cox um, stuff. I don't even know what I don't even know what person they have to be for me. I'm just I'm just completely new completely Dr. Cox was. Um and I don't know. And I just I wanted her to be tough. She had to be tough. But still, um, still uh, gentle enough gentle to deal with Vinny. So when I wrote the open so chapter, chapter, I wanted her to be more of a listener than anything. Um, anything. I wanted Vinny uh, to not feel intimidated I by, to her. Not feel intimidated by her. Intimidated by her. It takes a lot to intimidate her. But um, I wanted Vinny to feel comfortable when he come back. I wanted to be believable. I wanted to be believable. She would actually come back. She would actually come back. So, um, so um, I wanted Dr. Cox to be just as evasive at, at times as Vinny was. was. And when I got to the end of the chapter, I got to the end of the chapter. You know, that was another moment when I was like, oh, yeah, that was another moment. Like, oh, and I just, and I wanted. You yeah, need to answer them because, of course, anybody who has to answer, like, where are you and when are you, you're going to have to answer, like, what's the And so I thought it was very fitting for any person to have to answer that. To answer that. Um, and, and it was fun to explore what her answer would be. I was like, well, my answer would be. Like, well, my answer would be. And, and that's how and, I and that's how came up with Dr. Cox and how she would be and her personality. So I just went with it for the rest of the book. And I like to have a camera. I'm going to try headphones to see if that eliminates your echo if I don't beat up my, uh, <laughs> my own laptop first. Let's see how this works. Thanks, Gina. Thanks, Gina. Hey, Brittany. Hey, Brittany. I'm Echo. I'm Echo. There, did the echo go away? Oh, there's questions in the Q&A. Oh, Lord. Wait. You guys can still hear me, right? Okay. Word. <laughs> Show can. Gina. And Olivia disappeared. Am I supposed to talk? Am I even talking about answers? I don't know how to be talking. Then the echo is not. I have on, yeah, headset, so that should still be happening. I should only be hearing the audio here, and it shouldn't be coming through my laptop. Is it safe to talk? I'm about to talk. Yes. Um, okay, so I think this one is from Lisa. Lisa Bell. Um, oh, good. It's better for you, Devin. Okay, okay. It says, I love the strong character, Vinny, but you also have... Oh, where'd it go? Oh, and relatable. How difficult is it to maintain a character's truth throughout your novels? Um, 
my characters all have layers. You know what I mean? Like, you know how to say it's levels to this. Uh, there are levels to my characters, and so it's really not hard um, to, to maintain their truth. But I just have to make sure I'm very aware of their truth. You know, there are certain things that, like most of my characters, would react completely different to the situations of Vinny. They sh- they would react completely differently. Vinny is often too cool for certain things. She's not about to, you know, all up in her feelings about things. It actually surprised her when she got her feelings about Lawrence. And, you know, she did stay true to herself with how she approached him when she wanted to discuss their relationship again. So, um, it's not very difficult. I, I'd like to make sure I, um, I let you all see every piece of them. You know, she may be a hard ass on one end, but she can kind of be a softie on another for certain people, only for those she loves. She should have been softer with Lawrence. Yeah. You just like Lawrence because he was fine, Devin. If he was a regular looking guy, he'd be like, work for it. But Lawrence was fine. Yes, you are transparent, Devin. <laughs> Am I transparent? <laughs> so the echo is gone now, right? Lawrence. Yes, Jason, work for it. Yes, work for it, Jason. <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, yes, Gina. Gina. I, I do. I write about a strong woman with an edge. Um, but, you know, like you get to see their soft side too, right? So, you know, I'm, I think did you write too little too late. So, not that I want to go off into, the, like, you know, it's too little too late discussion, but, you know, like with Tamika, same thing. She was strong, but then, you know, she was vulnerable. She had her weaknesses. Just like most of us women have right now, anyway. You know, like, wait. Sorry, I had this other conversation going on in my ear. So most of us, you know, women are multidimensional. <laughs> Lo has no weaknesses. None. Some of us other women. <laughs> Child, put a spot in front of me unless we fold up. <laughs> put me in a room so that's one degree too hot I and watch me disappear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine is uh, mine is uh, heat and humidity, and uh, uh, there's something. Yeah, the absence of a fan, one or the other or both, and because there's a, there's always 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 a fan blowing on me. Y'all see that fan? Um, and there's something else. I forget what it is, but there's something else that'll do me in. But yeah, a heat blizzard. <laughs> Uh, um, Dr. Cox, are we get? Every- no, right? Cox, Cox, Cox. Who froze? Oh yeah, Portia froze. Dr. Cox. Oh, I froze. I froze. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, okay, I had asked if we were ever going to explore Dr. Cox's story because she's very fascinating. I mean, you know, mm-hmm. she's very fascinating. And a lot of times with psychologists and psychiatrists, you know, they have their own mess that they're trying to work through. The Dr. Cox's story. I, um, I did too, Devin. I really, really love Dr. Cox's <laughs> A lot of character. people really get into Dr. Cox. They get into Dr. Cox, and, um, which I love. Um, she turned out to be more of a powerful character. And I set out for her to be a guest. But writing for her made me. You want to know, like, what's going on with Dr. Cox? What's her story? So I may explore her 
in the future. She may pop. She may pop up in the future novel. You never know. Um, I had to think of something though. It has to be good. So you know, there's something with her past. I just don't know what it is. But we may see Dr. Cox in the future. That's all I have to say. But I, I'm glad that a lot of people related to her. I'm glad that a lot of people felt like they could talk to her. They could go see Dr. Cox. You know, they wanted to make an appointment with her. So I thought that was really cool. Like J Hope on the Braxton, uh, Dr. J Hope, <laughs> Dr. J. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't hear it. So, are you working on the sequel now portion? Or the next Hello? book in the series? There. I remember Dr. J. She looked like. <laughs> I remember her, Gina. She did. Am I working on the next uh, book in the series? I am. Actually, um, Ain't Nothing Free will be next. Ain't Nothing Free is a prequel. Never thought okay. I would write a prequel, but it's necessary. Um, there's a lot, you know, like, I just scratched the surface, of course, with Fast Track, and it's complicated. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, um, you get back to, um, you go back to 1993, and that's when Kiana is first entering Lakeside Prep. So in Ain't Nothing Free, um, you you do get to see Kiana, I think is fifteen or sixteen, and she enters Big Side Prep. Gabriella and Vinny are already there. And they are already doing their fast track thing. And so you get to see from the very moment, um, you, everything is broken down because Kiana is the newbie in the Vinny Cole. A lot of people have been asking me about Cole and like what's going to happen with him, and if we want to know more about him. You will know it all about Mr. Cole um, and his charm and his charisma. Quite frankly, he's a pimp, <laughs> but of course they didn't recognize him as such then. So you know, I'm, we're going back to cross color days and, and high tech boots. And all that fun stuff and, and, and all the drama that the girls go through and you get to find out about Vinny's burn marks and why she does not like milk or dogs and things of that nature. So all of that is in the Ain't Nothing For Me. All of it. Um, and then of course you get more of Kiana, you get more of Gabriella and they all have their things with them as well. So. Um, I can't wait. The book, honestly, is over halfway done. I just, you know, have to get back to it. <laughs> I'm reading what Lo said. She doesn't like the book. <laughs> um, I don't like. I don't like things with yeah, cream and reasons. Twinkies yeah. and um, I didn't think nothing I would write that a prequel. Has cream that could. There's nothing wrong with prequels. I just never set out to do one. You know, but this one was necessary. Because in order to understand these women and how they are in relationships in general, um, you would have to know what they went through. And there was no way for me to let you know what they went through without taking you through it. So you, you have to go back to the 90s and see what they went through and their, see their mentality in their 16-year-old minds. I'm going in and out. Why don't we all not like milk? Is that a visual thing or is it a consistency thing? I don't know why I don't like it. But just asking. Because it is related to what we're talking about somewhat. A biological thing. You like milk, Rosie. I agree. I think the milk yuck. Never liked it. 
Yolanda didn't even like it as a baby. <laughs> Yolanda, you didn't like, like it as a baby? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at Yolanda pushing titties away. No! <laughs> I don't like the taste. Yeah, I, I know, right? I know Wait, I said titties. titties. I'm Wait, sorry. Because I, I said I said titties push. It's my fault. <laughs> Oh my god. I did it. I'm sure I, I figured it was you low. <laughs> because I could just see Yolanda with her hand oh, out, you know, yeah. it's too far. <laughs> Jason said I'll be going now. Is that all it takes, Jason, to say titties and milk and you and you're out? <laughs> <laughs> like the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Remember that one? So it's like the, the 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 big large titty loaded up some milk. <laughs> Jason's like, I'll see myself out now. <laughs> Wait, what's your comment? I never push titties away. <gasps> oh, okay. My bad. Jason will be staying for titties. Like There's that. nothing we can say that would make Jason leave. <laughs> Jason is unleavable. <laughs> Wait, get this back on track. We're talking about prequels. <laughs> Weren't we? Titties are a form of prequels. What's the one? Okay, okay. All right. Um, uh, <laughs> the swans have a brother <laughs> who doesn't push away from the table. <laughs> yes. Wait. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Just hanging with us. Snap the hell out when he pushed away from that table. So that's why I'm laughing so hard. Um, she really got upset about that part. I was, was I was for me too. hot as fish grease. I couldn't redeem oh, Lawrence because I wanted her to keep reading, and I couldn't say anything. And she was hot. She was dumb on Lawrence. Period. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking Lawrence needs to have a brother. I think every, every woman needs a Lawrence. Good Lord, I want a Lawrence. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, Lawrence is cool. And very, very sassy. And, you know, yeah, he was he was a total patch. Uh, would you ever do a book that was strictly from the guy's point of view? Thank you, Rosie. Thank you, Devin. Can you this hear us, Portia? Put the wrong stuff now. Do you see my question, Portia? Is she still there? Would I ever do a book that was strictly from a guy's point of view? Ooh. Um, I would. I would. I've actually thought about it. Um, I actually first thought about doing it with um, the man from the Discord Live. But and I was like, mm, I think almost every woman hated them, so we probably don't want to hear from them. But yeah, I've been thinking about doing a, a book from a man's point of view. I don't know what book yet, though, so, but I think once the right idea hits, I will do it for sure. Okay. Well, we've been almost doing it. Well, not, I was going to say we've been, we're coming up on two hours of doing this, but we're really not, right? We, we're coming up on an hour and a half of doing this. So um, we might want to. This is how delayed I am. Yes, I see your question. 
<laughs> and one of the things that we had talked about was like doing more of these in the future. Uh, we definitely have to work out the technology. Yeah, I know. We got to wrap it up because we can't damn hear. I can't hear. Yeah, yeah, we, hear. Okay. yeah we, uh, we want to work out the technology of it first because we truly did play around with this in the you know a couple weeks leading up to Child it. wants to say hi. Um, and, you know, you love this, doing it this way or these types of things. Is that Amari? Okay, hi. Is that? Hi. <laughs> for us uh, saying hi. Um, you and me. Check it out. Okay. Yeah, hi. I can't do it. There's no Say thank you for my JV notebook. Say hello. Thank you. Alright. <laughs> Sorry, peeps, that I couldn't fully be interactive with you. I don't know what happened. The universe hated for whatever reason at 3 50 p.m. Here we are. I'm glad y'all stuck in there and, and, and worked through the echoes and the technical difficulties. And I'm thankful for Lo for keeping you entertained. <laughs> I was over here on delay with my ankles crossed, sipping wine. Other authors, other books, other topics. You know, we, we really did want to make use of this kind of format. Yeah, oh, thank, you, yes. thank you, Gina. Thank you, Gina. I'm glad again. you guys really did, did think it, it, it was worth it. Um, but yeah, we really did. I mean, oh, Google yeah. really did make us think that you know this was just perfect. And when we practiced, it seemed perfect. And then when it came time to do it, it's all back. That's all that matters. Mayhem. Thank you guys for coming. Yay! Yeah, thank all of you for coming. I'm so glad my cousin Stacy came too. You know, I'm glad everyone came. But you know, it's, it's always I'm way out here in Cali, so it's always cool when I see family pop up. So that was great. Tina came back. Yeah, it really would be good to have a guy's perspective, Deb, and I agree. Um, um, Jason gave us mucho, macho guy's perspective. So, you know, it's, it's always good to have that kind of balance. <laughs> you Jason, that, oh, guys don't read. I don't think that's true. Guys tend to read uh, more nonfiction, right? Hey, you guys, I have to show you what I'm about to start reading. Uh, hang on. I'm going to start this today. I had ordered it, and it just came yesterday. And I can't wait. Gina, you will appreciate this. I'm about to start reading this. Can y'all see it? Can you see it? Can y'all hear me? <laughs> it's the autobiography of Rick James. Dude, I cannot wait to dive into this book. So yeah, you know that's ne that's next up. Um, uh, that's next up on my list. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that that that's that's what that's what I have next on deck. Um, has everybody? Yeah, Rick is a lot of people here here on Jason for for reasons. Of course, I bet he is your hero. <laughs> yes, they they apparently the reason I got this was because I had read such uh, I had read reviews where they say that they talk about all the stuff that Rick did, and so that's one of the reasons why I, uh, I, uh, you know, the, what I, why I ordered the book. I was reading a review, and, I, and there was so much stuff, and I was like, oh, hell no. And so I went straight and ordered it, um, because apparently this is like a no holds bar type book. Um, <laughs> uh, everyone here, you all have read or will be reading. Um, it's complicated, though, right? Oh, Jason, there's some quaint nonfiction stuff out there. Gina, the point is we shouldn't be able to handle it. That's why I got the book, because I hope it's something I can't handle, where I'm just like, wow, wow, wow. That's the kind of stuff I love. 
And Jason, there's some great nonfiction out there. There's some really, really good nonfiction. Yeah. If you knew Rick Week, you could handle it. <laughs> you see my comment? He was in your face. It is what it is exactly. Great nonfiction that leaves fiction in the dust. Should really, really uh, widen, widen the pool of what you read. I got the hardcover because I knew this was going to be a book I would absolutely want in hardcover. You know, uh, I figure I'd be handling this puppy a few times, getting a few reads out of it. Uh, oh, so you read that? You got an advanced reader's copy. That's great. <laughs> Oh, Gina finished. It's complicated this morning. Yes, 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 yes. This is awesome. Yes, Devin. Uh, it's finished your book in one day, a compliment or an insult? Oh, goodness, that's a compliment. That means that you, you know, at the expense of everything else, buried yourself in it. That's never going to be an insult. If somebody says to you, like, like uh, uh, this is funny, on uh, my first book scene from a sister, um, my manager had gotten a quote from a player from the Miami Dolphins. Uh, and he was in the, and it was a blurb that was actually used on the book. And it said, um, this book is fantastic. In the three weeks that it took me to read it, I could have put it down. So, huh? three weeks. What? Yeah. So, yeah, there's, I'll take a one day read uh, over a three week read any day. If somebody says to me, it took them one week. I mean, one one day as opposed to three weeks. Cool. Yeah, yeah. And, and I'm not a fast reader, too, Jason. Um, sometimes I really do love to just savor a book, especially if it's good. I, I, I feed it to myself in pieces because I, I try to delay the end as much as possible. But then there are also times where a book is so good, I gorge myself on it. I can't stop reading it. And that's how I was with It's Complicated. I gorged myself on it. And it was mad, you know, uh, when it was over, because um, it's like it's like binge watching is now binge viewing, where like on Netflix, you know, the whole season of A House of Cards or Orange Is the New Black is dumped at one time, and you read it at your leisure, leisure, and uh, it's so good that you just you know episode after episode after episode, you watch it back to back, and then it's gone. There's no more left until a year from now. So the consequences that come with gorging yourself that means you have to wait a long time, but sometimes, you know, the way you pace and the way you take something in depends on the kind of, you know, energy you have with it. Some things you savor and some things you... Let me stop myself. Thank you, Portia. I'm going to stop myself. I'm taking this too far. But you get my point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly, Jason. You binge watching Spartacus. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's the trick of binge watching or binge reading. You then you know they got titties. Spartacus has a whole bunch of stuff other than titties. Spartacus has a lot of stuff. I know. I'm sorry, Dana. I go right down the path with Jason too. Jason puts it out there, and I follow the breadcrumbs. I'm not gonna fall for it anymore, Jason. Not gonna do it. Not even for the vine. Exactly, Debbie. Depends on what kind of mood you're in. We'll see. <laughs> Jason took that as a throne gauntlet. <laughs> Tim Tor. Yeah, Portia, uh, I, I devoured it. Um, 
<laughs> I know. I was wondering if it was E or or E E R or O R. It might be both. Uh, both might be acceptable, Devin. Um, yeah, so this was fun. Uh, you know, uh, I, I really do think we should yeah, do a lot of things like this. <laughs> yeah, I devoured your book. Um, you know, I think there's all kinds of stuff that we can do this with, whether it's something that's topical, uh, again, with other authors and, you know, have this kind of a forum. But I think once we work out the kinks of it, we really can turn this into something exciting and fun and, you know, communal. Yeah, Gina. Like trash TV, but books with well-developed characters. Exactly. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, Gina. exactly. Exactly. Uh, it's complicated. Had extremely well-developed characters. The pacing, the storyline, the everything. Um, uh, just every single thing. You can't pick a character in there that wasn't fleshed out well. Even if you only met them for a few minutes, they were fully fleshed out. Bye, Sayer. Thanks for coming. Right, Gina, exactly. Bye, Devin. Bye, Thanks Devin. for coming. Yeah, we're going to work the kinks out of this and we're going to do more of it. And this keeps me being social because it's so easy for me to be a hermit. Hot garbage masquerading as a novel. I dare somebody to put that as, as a blurb on a book. <laughs> Hot garbage masquerading as a novel. It's an actual novel. I'd do it too, Gina. I'm at, I'm at, at this age of my life, you know, I, uh, I'm kind of unfiltered, so. At this stage of my life. Yes, Deb, I actually have books in progress, and I'm also, I've been busy doing stuff on the film and TV side, but I'm, I'm always going to write books. I mean, you know, it's it's just something that's in me. So that's like being a, a you know a duck or a, well, it's such a horrible metaphor, Lolita. Where are you going with that? Um, yeah, I'm always gonna do it. It's an innate part of me, so I can never not write another book. Where was I going with that duck metaphor, though? <laughs> I don't even want to know where I was going with it. <laughs> I don't know how to answer this question. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, Portia has a delay, so she hasn't heard what I've said about the duck yet. Where was I going with that? I think I was going to say something about being a chicken or hen never laying another egg. Maybe I was going to switch insurance, exactly. <laughs> I It won't be long. Uh, it, it won't be long, Deb. Um, it won't be long. Uh, I actually have uh, two in progress. Chicken and watermelon. Oh, Gina, don't say that because I'm so impressionable when it comes to food. Portia will tell you, all you have to do is mention food, a certain a specific food, and I will go in the kitchen and put it, uh, go get it and, or make it, or I'll go, to, I'll jump in my car and go get it. So please don't say chicken and watermelon gizzards. I can't stand you, Jason. I have some gizzards in my freezer right now. See, this is how, you know, if I ever did a book on how to how to kill a low or how to own a low, how to own a low. That would be so the point you leave and come back. Chicken feet, yes, yes. Roti, chicken feet. Y'all are gonna have. Don't do this. I'm so impressionable with food. Don't do this. Yes, bologna. Oh my God, I'm seeing all this food. Are there, oh, there are, there are two portions. Okay. okay. I have chicken feet, pork chops, gizzards, chicken in my freezer. You guys do, do not even understand that I will go in there and thaw stuff out and cook it. Portia will tell you this. There are plenty of times that we'll be having a conversation and she'll mention something and then I have to have it. Stop it, Jason! <laughs> <laughs> no, straight up, just to say, 
Oh, you are I'm echoing like a mug now. Am I? Oh. Yeah. It's like, come to me, 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 me. Yes, it's deep, Becca. <laughs> Oh, oh, she's in two different chats? No, uh, it's a little not. bit better. Can you hear us? I hear you. Uh, do I blow my gizzards first? No, I do not, Jason. Um, uh, I know that tenderizes them, but I'm, I'm like too impatient. I just like flour those puppy seeds in the flour and fry them up. Mama love biscuits. If you don't stop, Gina. <laughs> Y'all are hilarious. Dark thirty food chats. You know I miss those, Gina. Daddy likes biscuits. <laughs> Portia, are you still there? I'm here. I'm here. Am I echoing? Yes. It's interesting. <laughs> Is it still two of me? Uh, there are two of you inside this bar at the bottom of my screen. Yes. Uh, one of them, uh, uh, yeah. The wall. Yes, one is the wall. What's that about? <laughs> <laughs> it does sound like some Twilight stuff, Deb. I can't hear you. I was trying to switch to my phone because I can hear on my phone. Oh, okay. But, but yeah, guys, this has been fun. We definitely have to do this again. We're going to work it out. I have the hiccups. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> excuse me. I'm like hiccuping. And, did you hear that burp? I burped. Oh, my God. Oh, I've, got a, I've got a little too chill with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Who's, whose face and ears are you talking about? Uh, He's uh, uh, a When we tested it, Jason, it was just us. Perhaps we should have used more people, huh? At least we know who Let's we can call on for a test group. We shall use you, Jason. That we shall do. But yeah, this was fun. We're going to do it again. You know, and we'll do it for more stuff. Take that. <laughs> we did, Jason. We took it. We took it <laughs> any way we wished. <laughs> But yeah, this was great. We will do this again. Maybe we'll do it about food too, you know? That would be good. Food. Food. Cooking with Lowe. Cooking with Lowe, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or we can, you know, do a game like, uh, will Portia eat this? Because she's like super picky. And so it could be like a thing. Would Portia eat this? <laughs> Cooking with Paul. <laughs> Cooking with Paul and Low. <laughs> Cooking Paul with Low. <laughs> that be interesting. Right? <laughs> that hardly really anything. Right. Right. Cooking with Paul and Low is hilarious. <laughs> I'm not that hard to please, though. Nah. Oh, yeah, I have to follow me. That's crazy. I remember Popo. Quite well. Mari, I think that's your tablet. You're going to make. Woo. Jay sounds like you're in outer space. Like this is a scene from Gravity. <laughs> but yeah, guys, we're going to wrap this up. I know, Brad, I just saw it the first time the other day. It's super hood. Oh, God. Epically hood. hood -tastic. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Until yeah, guys, we're going we're to wrap this up. It's 302. Thank you guys so much for hanging with us. Yes. Uh, <laughs> um, we definitely 
Yeah, we're definitely going to do this again. Uh, and it will be more better. More better. Makes it more better. It'll be more better next time. Less hood or more hood, but not this hood. We'll either get more hood with it. Or, right, right, right. Or dial the hood down. But either way, it'll be better than uh, this first crack at it. Cool? Yes. The hood cannot be contained. No, it cannot. Yes, Gina gets it. Cool. All right, guys. Awesome. All right. Thank we'll you for you coming. Time. Yes. Bye. Bye, Jason. Bye, Gina. Bye, everybody in here. Deb Bye. and all. Stay black. <laughs> Shall try. Ongawa. <laughs> Piece of hair grease. The chicken feet. <laughs> or in your case, stay light skinned and watermelon. Yes, yes. <laughs> Bye, guys. This was awesome. Bye. <laughs> I'm a double pattern. Huh. <laughs> 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 <la